Greetings, and welcome to episode 72. In today's episode, we'll be discussing theft. But not the theft you're accustomed to, like stealing of personal property. This is theft on a much deeper level. And we'll get into that in just a moment. So if you're ready, let's get started. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy. So, theft. The type of theft I'm referring to is uh, seen on a daily basis. Nobody usually calls anybody out on it because it's not the type of theft that you have proof of. And on occasion, uh, especially in the black community, you do get called out on it. It's called putting on airs <laughs> or putting on a front where you pretend to be something you're not, where you, uh, how would you say, you assimilate, would that be the appropriate term? The mannerisms and just the, the nuance of another person to pretend to be something you're not, to sell yourself better. I see this on a daily basis. I see it on TV, media, people pretending to be something they're not to sell themselves better. But these things can be seen. I don't know if anybody else can tell, but I can tell when somebody's pretending to be someone else. It's one thing uh, I'm pretending to be a police officer. A police officer is a job title. It's not a particular person. It's not any one person. Uh, pretending to be a firefighter, a pilot, whatever it is, that's a role to be filled. Even if you were to be a pilot, you're still just filling a role. Now, if you're pretending to be a particular pilot, that's another thing entirely. That's uh, what would you, theft of the persona, theft of your you're stealing this person and trying to pawn yourself off as this person for whatever reason you're stealing their essence you're stealing their mannerisms you're stealing their physical inflection maybe even trying to steal the, the very words from their mouth speaking like they do word for word something they've said doing things they do it's one thing we all share you hear a good joke so we all I mean jokes will circulate for years but having a joke is not the same as stealing somebody's life from them like for instance let's just say for instance I make videos based on my own life experience and let's say for instance somebody they didn't just take the video and repost it because it was something interesting they found they instead made a video regardless of whether or not they ever had the experience but they make a video word for word of something that I've done and do their very best to evoke the same energy as speaking from experience has a different energy than just talking out of your ass because you've never been through anything so if this person were to do that that's the type of theft I'm talking about you're not stealing or even borrowing it's one thing if you borrow from someone we all do that from time to time but when you blatantly steal from someone that's that's theft And then the question comes, well, how do you stop them? I don't know that you can stop them. Because once they do it, they've done it. You can prevent them from doing it further, perhaps. But once they've done it, they've done it. And they've got whatever piece of you that they wanted to acquire. Your essence, your voice, your mannerisms, the way you speak, the way you... Uh, talk with your hands perhaps <laughs> or whatever it is but if they've made a habit of stealing your life experience to pawn off as their own odds are 
if you do find yourself in a position to call this person out on their bullshit, they'll just move on to the next target. They'll find someone, if not better, then at least at the same level that you're at. Instead of going out and getting their own life experience, they are content to just steal from others. There's something inherently wrong with that. Now, providing people with information, sure, but you lose the right. You don't have the right to say this is your own life experience if it is not. You could even pawn it off, and I'd be a little less upset to hear someone say, I've heard, or I've been told, or some people say, so that you're telling whoever it is you're speaking to, this isn't from my mouth. I've heard this. This isn't my experience. I'm just sharing what I've learned. But more often than not, when people do engage in theft of this nature, they try to pawn it off as their own. Because if they don't pawn it off as their own, then you might seek your wisdom elsewhere. I mean, why not get it from the horse's mouth? Then get it secondhand from the jockey. You know, there's no point in that. If why are you going to get it from this person who's never been through anything in their life when you can come straight to me and get it from me? Because I speak directly from experience. And this is something that I've experienced. And this is something that I can guarantee that 99.99999% of the population experiences. Even people that think that, well, who would want to steal from me? Somebody out there admires you for something. And they're going to steal that little bit of you that they like. That's just a fact. Well, don't you find someone to emulate? There, who? There's nobody else on this planet that I want to be. Nobody. Not one human being. Not one famous person. Not one unfamous person. I'm doing my best for my life according to my path. Walking my path pretending to be you is not going to do my path any good. and It's not going to do me any good. Likewise, you walking your path pretending to be somebody else isn't going to do you a damn bit of good either. It's not like a band comes out with this groundbreaking new style. And the way the music industry works, every band thereafter until the genre changes, they change what the, they want the favorite genre to be, every band thereafter will sound like that groundbreaking band. Not word for word, and usually not perfectly sounding like them, but it'll sound so much like them that you say, oh, you know, that reminds me of this band, or whatever band, you know? And, but they don't, like, steal the lyrics, at least. But when people steal from people on a mundane level, on an everyday level, or even here on YouTube, they will steal the words out of your mouth. And granted, they're doing, oh, I've got to make a book. Yeah, you got to make a book. But at the end of the day, stealing is stealing. And I, I try to make it as difficult as humanly possible for people to steal from me. I mean, if you're not me, you're not me. And if you're not me, then coming across as a 41-year-old black man, <laughs> especially if you're white or if you're female, trying to come off as a 41-year-old black man, that might be a little difficult for you. <laughs> uh... But even if you're not exactly stealing, why don't you reference where you got your information from? Put a little clip of that person's video in your video. Maybe do a little uh, networking 
reach out to this other party and say, hey, I like some of your stuff. Would you like to affiliate yourself with me and I'll promote you and you can promote me? Why can't we all get a piece of this action? Instead of just blatantly stealing and trying to pawn it off as your own. Now this sounds a bit ranty, <laughs> and it is kind of, but I've been running into this a lot, and I honestly, I have yet to see someone that's actually stealing my videos, but I'm talking about out in the world. I was just using the videos as a for instance. <laughs> because let's face it, even if this person was stealing from you, you can't prove it. You just know. And if you call them out on it, it just makes you look like the crazy guy in the room. Yes, it'll cause people to say, hmm, I wonder if that person is telling the truth. And they might do a little bit of digging. And they might find that you're telling the truth, but you're talking about a handful of people versus the, the, the myriad people that view this other person. So that, that's neither here nor there. But when you have to encounter this person on a daily basis, or a near daily basis, someone that starts adopting your mannerisms, the way you speak, the very words you say, and pawning it off as their own experience, that's, that's theft. It's bullshit. And from where I'm from, they will call you out on that. They'll call you out, not just pull you aside and call you out. They'll call you out in front of everybody so that you look so foolish you don't dare raise your head in polite company again. Or at least you won't pretend to be someone you're not in polite company. You see something you like, emulate it. Don't imitate it, emulate it. You find the qualities you like about someone else and then you find those qualities within you and if you don't have those qualities within you then you nurture those qualities within you start from scratch they have to start somewhere that's like the basis of life experience and most of your life experience you're having it while you're not paying attention life happens when you're not looking if you're watching every second then you're missing it pretty much you're missing everything because you're missing the big experience because you want to be uh, instead of experiencing your experiences you want to be documenting your experiences but you're the way you're approaching it you're trying to document an experience before it's even happened you want to be right there you can't have a pencil and pad in your hand most life experiences require both hands to be free so you can move in whatever direction and do whatever you need to do. So just live. And then one day you'll look back and say, wow, I did all that. Then document it. And then you won't have to steal from other people. The spiritual path, same thing. You're too busy trying to have an experience. Just have an experience. Practice makes perfect. It's in the practicing that you learn it in the first place. I wouldn't know all these techniques. I wouldn't know everything I've learned if I was too busy trying to have, trying to get, trying to preempt life pretty much. You can't write down the experience. I'm, this is the experience I want to have and I'm going to go out and have it. Just live. Life will fall into your lap. Usually when you're not paying attention. And then you deal with it as it comes. And then you get your honest reaction to life. That is the experience. Your raw reaction to any given situation. That's experience. Sometimes you pass. Sometimes you fail. Sometimes you break even. That's a fact. But if you were choreographing your life experiences, those aren't real life experiences. You might as well be watching a movie or making a movie. You're play acting. Oh, this one time. No, this one time you guys set this all up and it's all contrived and bullshit. 
It's like what, reality TV. It's not really reality TV. Just because there's a camera there doesn't make it reality. It just makes it TV. People need to be more mindful. People, since I was a kid, living their entire life through the television, now through the computer, through their phone. I think people have forgotten what a goddamn experience really is. And if you're, oh, but, yeah, but I was videotaping when I was, choreographed moments are not it really, you're not really living. If you're doing it for the sole purpose of documentation, you're not really living. It's a choreographed moment. Yeah, it looks cool. Props for doing it, but you're the only one suffering. Randomness. Remember when it was random? You can't force life to happen. Well, I'm going to go climb this mountain. Yes, but the initial thought to go climb the mountain wasn't spawned of wanting to document it. It was just spawned of wanting to climb that mountain. Now when you want to climb the mountain, it's for the sole purpose of documentation. Kind of like a movie is made for the sole purpose of documentation. You're recording it. And yes, it's an experience, but it's a choreographed experience. And for all intents and purposes, it is a fake moment. And sure, you're doing your own stunts, but, I mean, are you really going to pay someone to live your life and then go pawn it off as your own? <laughs> Isn't that what this video is about? Pawning off other people's lives as your own? <laughs> no more GoPro. Because you're more likely to do some asshat bonehead thing when you're being recorded because I'm having an experience and I'm documenting it just live your life turn off the camera and live your life put down your phone and live your life turn off your computer turn off your TV go live your life for a month without the expectation of review and then make a video about what happened to you that month no matter how seemingly mundane the moment was, I want to hear about it. Of how you lived your moment. Did you pass that test? Were you mean when you could have been kind? Were you kind when you could have been mean? We act differently when we're not videotaping every second. People that know they're being recorded act differently. That's not experience. That's you watching your step because somebody's, somebody's watching. Like a TV show. It's choreographed. You can't choreograph life. You can't force life to happen. Life is a random series of events that happen to you. Instead of life happening all of a sudden you're happening to life for the sole purpose of review you want people to see it and do you think that's cool why do you care life experience isn't about whether or not somebody else is going to like your journey the journey isn't about whether or not, whether or not somebody else is going to appreciate what you've been through And some of these people will diminish the experience of others because it wasn't as intense. But the only reason why yours was intense is because you had it on videotape. If you had no expectation of review, would it have been so intense? And how many times did you have to film it before you got it right? That in itself is a form of lying and theft. You're, you're pawning this off as, oh, and, I, and I'm so good at it. But it took you five, six tries to get it right. I'm going to see when you fucked up, too. I'm going to see when you fell flat on your face. And what you did to correct that so it didn't happen again.
And don't get me wrong, with everybody with a camera on themselves, they're on their best behavior, and that's a good thing. But it's a mechanical good behavior. You're not on your good behavior because you're a good person. You're on your best behavior because you're afraid of what other people will say about you. As you can tell, I clearly don't give a fuck what you think. <laughs> oh, it's just my experiences are my experiences. I'm having an experience now, and I'm certainly not on my best behavior. <laughs> Swearing like a sailor. Holy shit. Anyway, this is me. If we were to talk in person, I'm not going to not swear. I'm an adult. If you tell me, I would appreciate it if you didn't swear. Oh, cool. Then I won't swear. But if I don't get that little bit of <laughs> warning that I'm just going to not talk to you if you're going to swear, then I'm probably going to swear. And there's a good possibility I'll just say, fuck it, and walk away from you. Because I like to swear. <laughs> oh... But if you're going to go around and be yourself, be yourself. Don't be somebody else. And don't be a fake version. Because if you could, there's not one quality you can pretend you have that you don't actually have. In other words, if you can pretend to be brave, there's a 99.999999999% chance that you're an actually you are actually a brave person. If you can pretend to be honorable, if you can pretend to be eloquent, if you can pretend anything, then it's in there. Because you can't pretend to do something you don't have in you. You you meet a really shitty person but when you met them they were nice and then you figure out later they're shitty but they're nice, but they're shitty, but they're nice, then that person is nice and at the same time a shitty person. He's not pretending to be nice. You were just pretending to be nice. No, that person is a, is, is a shitty person that is also a nice person. Or a nice person that is also a shitty person. That's a fact. He's not pretending. That's just, that's who he is. Or she is. Maybe you were pretending to be someone that uh, understands the way people work but if you can pretend to be someone that understands you can understand they may have shattered your expectations of them oh I thought you were a nice person I am a nice person I just have my moments we all have our moments there's not one of us on this planet that doesn't have it in us to be a completely shitty person just like there's not one of us on the planet that's not in us to, to not be a nice person But don't be false because people are watching. But what if they think, what if, what if, so what? If you're pretending to be on a path, then you're on the path. You just don't realize it. If you're pretending that you've had other people's experiences, why don't you just go out and have those experiences yourself? Well, I saw this video and I tried this technique. And this is how it worked for me. Instead of trying to say, oh, and this technique, and this technique, and this technique. Because for all you know, this person that you stole from is completely full of shit. You just, you never know. So if you can't do it out of decency, if you can't be honest out of decency, be honest to cover your own ass. I got this information elsewhere. Ha ha. <laughs> Disclaimer, that way if it doesn't work, it's more than my fault. <laughs> People just don't get it. People just don't get it. And it's one thing, you meet a person and say they act exactly like you and have the mannerisms and everything, but you just met for the first time ever. 
you, you've you never heard of this guy, this guy's never heard of you or girl or whatever, and you've never heard of each other, never seen each other, never heard, you know, boo, about no one said anything to you about each other, whatever, and you both act the same, that's different. That means that's who that person is, and that's who you are. There is the possibility that one or the other of you is pretending to be someone else, but you're not pretending to be each other. This is just, boom, who you are at that moment. And that happens. Those are called kindred spirits. But then there's the people that you meet, and they're this person, and then the next time you see them, wow, you act just like me. What's up with that? Now, granted, there's something about you that they admire, and they're trying to emulate that, but theft is theft. And see, that's not emulation. That's just, that's theft. I'm sorry, when you just, yeah. You have to be yourself in every instance. There's something you admire. Find that in you. Don't pretend to be me. Because who am I supposed to be while well, you're running around pretending to be me? That doesn't leave very much for me. Just food for thought. If you catch yourself stealing from someone, stop. If you catch someone stealing from you, call them out on it. There is no shame in checking yourself and making sure you are coming correct. You don't want to put up a front. You don't want to put on airs. Those are the worst forms of douchebaggery <laughs> is being a false person because if you're a false person if you have a false persona then I can I can only believe that everything coming out of your mouth is bullshit but anyway Sorry, this, I, I didn't mean this for this to be a rant, but uh, this is something that's been bothering me over the last few days. And things I've seen in other people's videos, people stealing from other people. I mean, just blatant theft. <laughs> With no shout out or anything. Anyway. And not just in the videos. It's also when I go to work, it's it's just in the world around me and just I'm got to the fed up point and so I decided to make a video about it. Anyway This is it. I'm gonna go ahead and call it it's a few minutes before the thirty minute mark, but they don't all have to be thirty minutes, let's face it. It's at my discretion. <laughs> anyway, if you've enjoyed this episode, please click the like button. Uh, you can favorite it if you want. Uh, please feel free to leave comments down below as it is a discussion. I'd like to hear your thoughts on the subject of whatever subject I happen to be talking about. Uh, if you would like to keep coming back and get m and get and keep getting more information, or you just like the sound of my voice, <laughs> then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. But until next time. You hang in there.